So morning court, November 14th, 2023. Female judge, SEX trafficker, solicitor of SEX trafficking, perjurer, born of perjury, solicitor of perjury, R-A-P-I-S-T, solicitor of R-A-P-E, SEX UAL assaulter, solicitor of SEX UAL assault, 422 PC death threat maker, stalker, solicitor of stalking, cyber stalker, solicitor of cyber stalking, libel writer, solicitor of libel writing, slanderer, solicitor of slandering, kickback receiver, kickback provider, solicitor of kickback providing, solicitor of kickback receiving, witness intimidator, solicitor of witness intimidation, obstructor of justice, solicitor of obstruction of justice, etc., etc. Greg Chappell shows up to court having taken the first shower or bath that he's taken in like five years, like quite literally. He considers himself an adult baby in the BDS com BDSM community, so he never showers or bathes. It has nothing to do with being disabled. He's not disabled, by the way. His own doctor, Joseph Walters on Saratoga Avenue in, I believe, Saratoga, California, told perjurer, sporner, perjury, solicitor, perjury, SEX trafficker, etc., etc., Greg Chappell, that he doesn't have multiple sclerosis, that all of his problems are caused by a slip disc. Or not a slip disc, a bulging disc, I'm sorry. And Joseph Walter signed off on committing crime with SDX trafficker, perjurer, sporner, perjury, solicitor, perjury, etc. Greg Chappell scamming Medicare, saying that he has multiple sclerosis when Joseph Walters himself told him he doesn't have multiple sclerosis. He has a bulging disc that's causing all of his problems. So anyway, he pulls out all the stops, like shows up in a wheelchair the guy drives a vehicle every day that vehicle doesn't have any like to my knowledge modifications to it to allow him to drive the vehicle he goes grocery shopping every day he buys groceries every day he makes his own food every day he does not have multiple sclerosis so at one point you know he's pulling off this whole faking bit. And so I said out loud in court, I said he can write. I mean, after all, he writes like 40 page letters to his mafia family members requesting that they murder me. And he sends like tens of thousands of te text messages a day like disappearing text messages especially and he sends like 20,000 disappearing emails a day. So the bailiff goes, well, we believe that, you know, he is disabled. Cut it out. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? But another point, at another point, the female judge had had enough or pretended to have a, had enough of the two SEX traffickers. Perjurers, spawners of perjury, solicitors of perjury, attempted murders, solicitors of murder, R-A-P-I-S-T-S, -S, solicitors of R-A-P-E, etc., etc. Greg and Glenn Chapel talking over her, and she told them to cut it out, and the bailiff joined him, and I think that was just to appease me, or the bailiff joined her, I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now, um, but yeah, that was just to appease me. And then, you know, I mentioned that I actually have diagnosed psoriatic arthritis. And that I give, my shots of, give myself shots of Enbro once a week. And that I find it tough to write and type at times because of the pain in my hands. And like I asked, what am I supposed to do? And this criminal judge retorts, oh, we'll get with our ADA coordinator and like our ADA coordinator will make sure you have everything that you need. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, why don't you like tune into my YouTube account and my TikTok account? Because those should count legally 
under the Americans with Disabilities Act since I can't type and write quite often. That's an alternative, and I believe it qualifies under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Yeah, and like, you know, again, SDX trafficker, solicitor of SDX trafficking, perjurer, sworner perjury, solicitor of perjury, assaulter, solicitor of assaulting, attempted murder, solicitor of murder, etc. Greg Chappell, he considers himself an adult baby in the BDSM community, and that's why he doesn't shower or bathe. It has nothing to do with being quote unquote disabled. And, you know, I do have somewhere in one of my Google Drives him screaming at me that he raped me, that him and his ex-wife were going to murder me, that I enjoy being raped, that um, my dad had me raped, that my dad should have me raped more. Yeah, I have that in one of my Google Drives. Then I think somewhere I may have him exposing his genitals to me. And for sure, I've got an RAPE video of at least the two of them RAPING me while I was passed out in the country of Canada. And the state of Connecticut agree with me on that. They got back to me in less than 24 hours after I sent them the video. And I have emails prove it. And this is where I'm leaving off for now.